uh, having a good school system is really what makes Belmont very special. I think that a town not having enough money each year to just have the basic services stay the same uh, is a recipe for disaster. Well, in music, we get to write our own songs and make our own tunes and stuff. One of my children has grown up to be a professional musician because he was able to begin his musical career in the fourth grade at the Wellington School. My sense actually was when I went off to college uh, in one of those Ivy League schools that I had better training than an awful lot of the kids who come to private school. With some of the um, proposed cuts, she would have to choose between band, which she has also been in since um, the fifth grade, or a foreign language. And um, I think she feels like she has to pick a foreign language. I really want to do Chinese next year, and I really hope I can do it. The, the worst picture, having five classes in the three APs, that really cuts off a lot of what I want to have to do. My friends start coming up to me at school saying, you know, my parents are actually going to rent a house in another town so that I can get the education that I deserve. That breaks my heart, honestly, because I've known these people since first grade and I don't want to see them leave. That's really the chief way that we're affected is the loss of electives, potential loss of colleagues, um, which really cuts to the bone. Jim is like recess, a third recess. It's hard to picture not, little kids not being able to make a painting or play with clay and learn how that works and to learn about cultures. I really got involved because you see the things like that the front doors won't open because they're broken, not because they're locked, or that in my history class we have to reuse scantrons. I'm really concerned that Belmont High School hasn't bought a book in five years for its library. Our kids are going to compete with the rest of the world and with the language they know about the culture, they know about different different countries. The earlier you start, the easier it is. And you know, in fifth grade it's pretty late because a lot of people who speak two languages start when they're like four or five. The concern that some of the electives that have been available to all grades just because of manpower issues might only be available to seniors. Uh, so econ is a lot of people's uh, favorite class that I've talked to. Uh, you know, kids are really not just in it for the econ graphs, although they're really fun. They're in it for the, uh, for the teacher and the theoretical discussions because especially in the time we live in with a difficult budget, it's uh, really fun for kids to analyze what uh, causes these problems. What's really cool is that for AP Econ class, 30 to 40 percent of the students can also take college prep, math, and English, which means that not only the most academically active kids take AP Econ. students that are getting involved at this point and that should really say something. That should say that something's wrong with our town and we need to fix it. If we make cuts this year and then that becomes the level of services budget for next year and then we make cuts again and then we get into this repeated cycle of just making cuts and I feel like we're already down to the bare minimum. Well I really hope that we will be able to bring back the highest level of for our languages um, so that our kids can continue their education in this field. When I first moved into my house on School Street, uh, there were several houses here in which widows lived. I know that they were on very low fixed incomes. And yet, after the high school burned down and we built a new high school and then moved on to improve education, which increased uh, the uh, cost uh, to every homeowner, they chipped in. But right now it's